in this video we're going to go ahead and go back and modify the materials of the other window types so that they are prepared for rendering as well how do we do this I'm just going to select while still in the nested family I'm going to select that type and you'll see our edit family mode that's going to open back up this window now that we're here we'll come back to our family types and we're going to add a parameter we can add a parameter directly right here however it's very easy to select the frame extrusion and over here on the materials and finishes category you'll see this button outside of material that allows us to create an associate family parameter and I'm just gonna click add and we'll give it a name and this is the frame material and we'll click on that and click OK and while we're here I'm going to repeat this process I'm going to tab through until we've selected the window extrusion and let's repeat that one more time and we're going to add a parameter and this is going to be our glass material okay now I'm going to change this as well to a consistent color and let's go ahead and modify those parameters so now that we've added parameters we'll access them up here from the family types menu and for the frame material I'm going to type in aluminum and I'm actually going to select an aluminum from our library down here so it's just a matter of selecting it coming down here to the end and adding it into our family editor Then I'm going to select on that and we'll click apply now we've added an aluminum frame material let's go ahead and adjust the glass as well and I'm just going to type in glass and you'll see there's different color glass that's available here uh, frosted mirror glass but you'll see this is what's this is what's available to us we can always select and go into um, right here into the category but you'll see this is this is where we get a glass material so let's go ahead and use we'll just go with this green glass and I'll click OK here making sure that we come up and we assign it now this shows a glass material and let's just click apply and by our clicking apply you can very quickly see that the material is starting to take effect here the color of the aluminum is so close to the gray chipboard wall color that it doesn't make a difference but we're able to see the materials take effect now that we've done that we can save what we have here and yes we're going to replace the existing wall type and we'll save what we have here once you have modified the material types by going back and editing those families the last step you will have to take is I'm just going to come in here and we're going to load back in those existing family types so I'm going to just come up to load family browse back out I'm going to select the material modified 3x5 and 5x5 windows I'm just going to click on opening and then we're going to get this menu about Revit is trying to load the families we want to override the existing version and its parameters and when we do that you'll actually see that Revit is going to go ahead and modify even the material types to what we've gone back and modified as far as the glass and the aluminum frame. So this ought to give you what you're looking for in your rendering. I hope this video has been helpful for you.